What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we... Oh gosh, I almost forgot what we did. I was like, what did we do in the last episode? We constructed the drilling platform for resource acquisition. Pulling out the big words. Um, and I'm a little... I'm, I'm a little unsure... Add, um, about it on um, at this point in time do was I making what I needed to finish off these catwalks or did I not make what I needed I don't know if I I don't know if I had what I needed I think I needed to make more steel or something I don't know oh no I got some more construction components apparently oh is the steel tubes that's what I'm gonna need more of and apparently interior plates Okay. Good to know. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, I did have a few comments that I that I wanted to address though. Um, so let me look through my laundry list here. Uh, Duke 0 X. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not, but we're going with it. Mentioned that um, I that I probably can't craft with the drill until I put some power efficiency on it because power would ultimately end up being the bigger culprit kind of thing. It, it's so if this is if this is the case, so that's something we might try and tackle this episode is seeing if we can get some power efficiency modules on here. Um, I have some steel plates. I probably have everything that I need if I do some actual stuff like inventory management kind of thing. Um so I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna just gonna kind of placeholder these. I have no idea how many I actually need. I have no idea what is too much, but I can't help but think there's this many modules for a reason because my theory is that that's essentially the balance to this mod would be my guess. Oh wow, I did not have hardly any steel plates on me. Okay. Um, so I had mentioned before when I started to mess with this in the production tab, if we go to the drill platform, um, that everything requires basically like gravel. But when I turn it on, the gravel part goes bananas. Like I get a ton of gravel. Um, like for example, we're at just under 200,000. So if I go turn this drill on, for like half a second. It's gonna tell me I don't have enough power, but I'm already at 202. So it gathers this gravel stuff really, really, really quick. Um, but everything I try and construct with it keeps saying uh, not enough power. So that's where the, the comment from Duke is coming from of the power is gonna be what makes this... I, I think they're going for the power is what's balanced, essentially in that it basically can gather pretty much whatever resources from whatever amount of gravel you can gather. But you have to be far enough along to have a crazy amount of power or a crazy amount of resources to start to snap this many re uh, uh, efficiency modules. I guess I shouldn't say crazy, but a decent amount because that's quite a bit of material. Now granted, we have a steel forge, so all of the different metal components isn't that big of a deal but if you didn't that would be a lot of metal a lot of iron um, just in the construction components and the steel and all that kind of stuff over time of doing all of these that'd be a lot now like that said I don't know how many I actually need to make it usable I just figured I don't really need a higher yield or anything so we're just gonna snap all those on there and see how it goes um, that said, I'm gonna go grab some motors and stuff, whatever I can carry, and see what we can do. Um, okay, so there's a couple other things that I wanted to go over. Uh, first of all, let's just kind of run through the comments. Um, Jay Brewer, again, I said I'm, I'm trying to do more shoutouts and stuff, but if I get here, if I mess up the pronunciation of your name, please don't take it personally. Um, it's just me. I don't know. Oh, I'm out of construction components, right. So let's grab some of those, grab a few of those, uh, grab a bit. I think I'm going to need more of these tubes, actually. Oh well, we'll see how this goes. Um, men, uh, anyways, Jay Brewer mentioned a nanobot constructor 
I think was the name of the mod or or something like that um, that wasn't quite as their words were overpowered I know I have not really played with the nano uh, nano factory type thing to know if it actually is OP or not um, but apparently it's kind of for building and doing and stuff like that but it's a kind of probably middle middle of the road kind of thing so that is something I intend to look into I looked it up I actually couldn't find it um, that's probably more on me than anything else um, but you know I couldn't find it so I don't really have a response for that one at the moment because I don't I don't really know um, let's see, let's see, Xander Pettit, I really hope I'm getting these right, um, mentioned using a solar panel alignment script, um, to maximize power efficiency. There's two th oh, we have a fourth, we have a fourth charge, no way, how's our battery looking? Are you charged? <gasps> Battery's charged, what? Yeah, I still need to actually finish that battery cell, because at this point it's not really doing anything. Um, I think the overall of setting the timer to be the speed seems to be working out. It's it's holding pretty pretty steady. I just had it misaligned before when I started using the speed, so that seems to work. And I also don't have a double, a second uh, layer of rotors to control the vertical angle. Um, and that would improve, and that's something I probably will do eventually. But, um... Quite frankly, if I'm being uh, bluntly honest, as a programmer person, I probably would rather just do it myself. Um, if I found time. If I didn't have time and it was really becoming an issue or something, yeah, I would. But knowing it kind of is fun to try and mess with that stuff because that's actually a fairly simple thing to try and get squared away. Um, but so yeah, I probably won't end up using a script for that because that's doing fine and if it wasn't I would probably just try my own hand at it. Uh, let's see. Oh, a couple of things about this area up here. So, oh gosh, I can't read my own writing. Uh, Loyal Venu Captain, I think, mentioned putting a spherical shape of, um, I'm, I'm guessing like a sphere container or, or a platform type thing over the hydrogen tanks to better secure it and it still keep it kind of aesthetic like a tank. I kind of like that idea when we get to that, wherever this ends up going, I'll probably do that unless it's underground, which it probably will. I don't know. Um, Zeal Warrior Gaming mentioned putting a, uh, enclosing the top module platforms up here, like kind of like this and putting a, a lid on them. Um, that's something we could do since, like I said, it's it's basically just steel. It's just iron and we have our, our steel forge here. Which I'm just going to use to get a little bit more iron going because we're going to need it for construction components and a bunch of other things. Um, the bigger question comes down to am I going to enclose this because eventually I'm moving everything underground. Um, so that's kind of the bigger issue is is it worth doing and at the moment I don't think so. Now I will probably leave these platforms even if we do go underground. Um, I mean for obvious reasons this is the solar connection point, this is the canopy, not the canopy, the walkway that goes down into the underground. So it, it definitely needs to stay um, but eventually like all the refinery and meta station and all that kind of stuff is going to end up underground. So. We probably will enclose the top part here, but it'll probably be more aesthetic up here and kind of RPing as far as like, um, I don't know, having some kind of comms, not comms, but like a living quarters or observation area or something that's not really actually useful in the game, but it just kind of fills in these little platforms is probably how we'll do it. I haven't decided on that yet. I don't, I don't really know. We, we have this platform out here now. Uh, which connects to everything, so I don't know, we might end up just leaving it out here. I really haven't decided on that point yet. Mainly because I don't really know how it's gonna go. Um, it's it's gonna take a lot to move all this stuff down underground and stuff, and I haven't really wanted to get into that undertaking as of right now. Um, oh, we do have some steel tubes. That's very handy dandy. Okay, that's that's downstairs. Um, where? 
Okay, hold up. Where did the... Where did all that steel go? There it is. I was like, wait a minute. Something's not right. Okay, so we can finish this off. Might be able to finish a few of these. I don't think they're gonna last for all of them, though. Yeah, no. About that many. It's probably about what we can do. Um, oh, right. I've got more steel, though. We should be able to fill this in a little bit more. All right, cool. Um, all right, all right, all right. So, further down the list. Um, and this kind of is brought up from the drill aspect. Um, but honestly, I wanted to I wanted to bring up this comment purely for the username because I think it's hilarious and awesome. It's former transformer known as Mjolnir. <laughs> and it's just like, hey, that is one of the longest usernames I've run across, but it's it's just it's hilarious. I think that's so funny. Um mentioned though that they had seen my last episode as far as um, talking about the driller platform or drill platform came to see my opinion of it and then hadn't I hadn't formed an opinion on it yet so yeah that's the thing is I have to see how it actually makes stuff at the moment my opinion is it's probably a little OP um, I don't know how many power efficiency modules are needed I don't know how much time and stuff it takes to actually craft the, the minerals and materials but at the moment the amount like without any modules I don't have any efficiency upgrades I don't have any uh, yield upgrades anything like that but just straight vanilla the way it's set up um, I get so much gravel from it and it's so the thing that I think makes it a little OP is that it's not RNG based it's not like how do I put this? Um, like, for example, if I want iron, all it costs me is 50 gravel, and I get iron every time. At least that's how I'm reading the interface. If it Now, granted, I'm not saying I enjoy RNG stuff, because I, I don't think anybody really, really enjoys the RNG side of most games. But from a balancing standpoint, like for Platinum, 9,000, you know... Roughly at the moment, I can do 20 platinum. I think if my if my math is if my quick math is right. And when you go into crafting, like um, thruster components, I know you use them. Where's thrusters? Thrusters. Let's just go to thrusters. Thrusters. Where are you? Okay, so even on a uh, we're in the large tab at the moment. Um. Dang, Nabbit, where are you guys? There you are. So let's do ion. No, I don't want to actually do that. So for a large ion thruster, it requires 10 and uh, of platinum. I mean, you need a bunch of other things, but you need 10 platinum. And platinum is, I, as far as I know, it's generally considered the most rare thing in the game, I think, at this point. I could be wrong. I haven't done a lot of the back behind the scenes system stuff in the game in a long time, so I have no idea um, what they've changed anything to. But as far as I remember, platinum was the big thing that was hard to get. And kind of like diamonds in Minecraft. And so for it to require 10 to do a thruster, and I can do 20 right now, and I barely did anything but turn the thing on for a few minutes, um, that seems at face value it seems OP at the moment like that that seems like too um, how do I put it essentially it's 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 not as hard to get that stuff as it should be um, platinum is typically very rare and so I can understand if something costs an astronomical amount like if it was like a million gravel or something I know there's probably volume systems involved that that makes that's probably not doable, um, but I think I think you guys could probably get where I'm going with that as far as if it was a really 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 high amount and you had to like stockpile gravel in order to get like one or two, that would be one thing. Or if there was a you can feed it ten thousand gravel and you might get a platinum, that's another way of doing it. But to just guarantee it with like 9,000 uh, 
like I said, it would have to be one of those where with all these power efficiency modules and four solar panels, it's still not enough to craft. Now, if you did something like that, um, that would probably balance it a little bit better, I think. Um, though, the balancing, it's a little hard to gauge that when you're doing stuff like what I'm doing, which is going outside the typical base game. That's where things get a little dicey in terms of talking about balancing issues and things like that, because it's like that. The, the ability to create this many modules should probably be a bigger deal than it is, but that's because I basically just got 700 steel by standing here and pushing a button for a minute because I'm using a steel forge system. So it's, it's, it's kind of one of those, like, where is the balance line drawn? Uh, as far as, like, is it really fair to discuss the balancing side of it and, and stuff when you're already using things that are breaking the, the typical balance? Um, and so that's kind of, I, I feel like that pretty much just comes down to preference. It's just, if you think it's cheaty, then it's cheaty, and if you don't, it's, it's not, you know. I've discussed that before as far as there are a few things that I'm currently doing um, that I think are a little on the on the edge. They're a little on the cheaty side. Um, but, I just did the same thing twice. Um, but the reason I'm doing them is for a time balance thing of, you know, what, what time I have to put into my episodes versus um, how much progress are we making. And so if I wasn't, like I wouldn't have a problem mining and building, building drill ships and all that kind of stuff if I was just playing on my own. Um, if I was just playing for personal entertainment, I probably wouldn't have done some of the things that I've done with, like, the Steel Forge and all that kind of stuff. Though, that said, when you're doing it for yourself, does it matter if anybody thinks it's unbalanced? You know, it's, it's kind of a fun, it's kind of a, um, catch-22. Um, but for me, a lot of the reasons I've looked into the drilling platforms and the steel forges and the nanite the nanite fa factory and all that stuff is basically to make more progress quicker um, so that you guys have more stuff to do or see and watch and, and you know, can kind of um, get excited about, ooh, we could do this and ooh, we could do that. And it's not like, okay, yeah, we could do that. Give me like three weeks, you know, that kind of thing. Um, because unlike a lot of typical Let's Players and YouTubers and stuff um, that are like full-time YouTuber people, I don't spend that much time on each thing. Um, you can probably tell by this episode alone, I haven't done any cuts, I haven't done any transitions or pauses. Um, and so what you're seeing is what you're getting in terms of the time. Now I will say, I will say that time thing has been a little bit chaotic lately, and I'm kind of back in the same situation I was a few, like a, a week or so ago, where um, my dog still needs to be watched all the time at the moment, and so I'm kind of switching back and forth with my mom to keep him under surveillance, because his, his sore thing between his foot wasn't quite gone, essentially. Um, and so it started to come back, so he's back on an antibiotic again. And again, it's not really a big deal. It's not like a life or death thing or anything that's real bad. It's just, if I don't keep watching him, it gets worse. And it takes longer and all that kind of stuff. But it has affected my overall schedule, per se, in that I kind of have to, you know, keep an eye on him and do different things outside of my typical way of doing things. Um... So, you know, that, that sentiment of what you're seeing is what you're getting and this is kind of real time is uh, exaggerated over the last couple of weeks because of my situation behind the camera kind of thing. Normally, I would probably cut and I would go, you know, do these things and have it done and then we check it and we test it and do that kind of stuff. But with the way things currently stand, I'm kind of trying to just squeeze in recordings when I'm when time is available. And that doesn't always leave me a lot of time to do everything that I really want to do with it. So, everybody's been super understanding about that, so I'm, I'm really glad about that, that nobody's really, like, been out of shape over it or anything. But just kind of keeping everyone essentially in the loop of just, hey, this is what's going on. Um, that's why I bring that up. And the last comment I want to address is probably the most important one. 
um, because it really brings up a, a very serious topic that that I needed to discuss. And that was from, uh, I hope I'm reading this right, Chozo SR388, who said, Hello. I mean, that's profound. There's, <laughs> I mean, it, just what do you do? Like, what do you say to that? Hello. You know, like, respond back. Hi, how you doing? I mean, what do you, it's really a rock and a hard place. I mean, it's just, you know, when people bring up topics like that, it's just, it's hard to know what you're supposed to say kind of thing. But, you know, all I can say is just, hello. Just respond back. Same thing. That's all I can do. I, I'm, I mean... <laughs> Alright. Okay, so that does actually conclude our um, comments that I wanted to talk about and stuff now that we're like 20 minutes into an episode. That's what I said about like not cutting and things. I could have probably shortened that up a little bit. But, you know, it's me. I'm a, I'm a gabber. I talk. What can I say? YouTube and stuff has not helped that at all, um, by, by the by, <laughs> in case anyone was wondering. All right, what is this, 40 a pop, I think? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Or is the, no, that one's done. So six, six, eh, five and three, okay. So five by 40, 90, so I need another 100 of these. That should cover it. Assuming that I have the um, materials that I need. Oh, and I think I made too many interior plates. I was talking and not paying attention. I needed more small tubes. Um, what is this? 20 by 7, right? So, uh, mm, mm, 140? I'm always leery of doing quick math in my head, because sometimes I'm brilliant at it, and other times I, you know, can't find my way out of a paper bag with it. So we'll try that. Let's grab what it has so far. Let's see what we can do with that. Oh, that one's already done. That one's done. There we go. Almost, oh, one, really? Okay, fine. Um, so yeah. And on, t on top of that, I, now that I'm thinking about it, wait, did I not? Hmm, did I not tell it to do any more? Is that why I have extra? Or not enough? I think I just did the math and then just didn't tell it to do more. No, I did. I added another hundred. I thought that would be enough. Didn't I? I don't know. I don't know what I just did. I'm lost now. Uh, let's just add another hundred. Why not? So see, that's what I was talking about is how, how much or uh, all the materials are costing us. And for me, with the... Um, the steel mill over there, steel forge, whatever you want to call it, I'm just like, you know, throwing down like 1200 iron or something. It's just like, yeah, it's fine. No big deal. Um, but that would be something that you'd have to consider if you were playing with just that mod. So the balancing thing kind of got all screwed up with not only how I'm playing it, but also the inclusion of mods and other things is it's not really fair to the mod itself. Essentially. Ah! See, I was off on my math again. Unless it was, wasn't was done. No, it was done with that. It wasn't done with the other ones. Okay. So I needed, what, 15? I should just probably make a bunch of them because it's not like I'm not going to use them for something at some point. But whatever. Whatevs. Okay, that's that one. Ow! It's off by three. Man, I was really off on the construction components. Um, ah, screw it. I'm gonna need more of them. It's not like I can't use more. Okay, now if this is not enough, then I would say even with mods and stuff, it's it's actually balanced fairly well. Because that basically is as many power efficiencies as I can give it, and I have a fairly decent but ultimately minimal power setup with only four solar panels. Um, and I'm not running off of any batteries or anything either, so it is just straight what the solar panels are getting. Uh, and again, if I did have a secondary rotor... Now, they are they are four lights, so it's getting enough. But if I had it rotated at a vertical angle a little bit, we would be squeezing a bit more juice out of it, but... Eh. Eh. 
whatever. All right, so let's see how this goes. We're gonna go... Let's just try... I don't know, let's do like... Wait, no, that's a lot. That is a lot, okay. Um, I think 10 of these would be a thousand. Let's just try that, see what it does. See, see how it works with that. Okay, so now it's working. Now this is interesting. Oh, it is still gaining. I was going to say it's not gaining gravel, but it actually is. So it's actually working. Let's see. Drill platform. Power efficiency is 2,500%. Good lord. Um, it only is requiring 20 kilowatts at this point to run this thing. That's awesome. <laughs> See, that's what I meant. It's, it's like, I, I don't know. Like, it's probably not unbalanced now because of the amount of materials you would actually need to do all of what I just did. However, that said, um, <laughs> that, that actually is a lot, though. I mean, yeah. All right, so let me, let me do this, too. That's a thousand. That's a thousand iron. But if my memory serves, one steel plate is seven. So if I wanted a thousand steel plates, I would actually need seven thousand of the drill of the of the drills. Yeah, of this. So let's do sixty. I can't really read that. Okay, that's seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Now, I don't actually have enough at the moment, so let's just turn this on and see what happens. Because this would be the equivalent, what I'm doing right here would be the equivalent of clicking the steel mill, or steel forge, and just letting it run for a minute or two and getting like a thousand steel. That, I don't know, by comparison with what I had to use, the materials to do all of this and the power to, that's actually more broken. Um, the only thing with this is that you can get more than just steel. This is only steel. So to me, it kind of balances out. Uh, but let's see how this goes. Now, the other thing is this is still going to be acquiring gravel while it's going. Um, so that's the other question is, can it balance out and get what it needs to do that? I don't know. We shall see. At the moment, though, between material costs, power costs, and time, I would say that the drill platform is probably more balanced than the steel forge. With the one caveat being that the steel forge only produces steel, and so ultimately it's basically only really useful for building materials and stuff, but not really for any components that you really, really need. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments and stuff. I think it's okay, especially if we do one or the other and not both. Like, now that we have this one, if we scrap the Steel Forge, that may actually balance out and be okay. I don't know. Um, I do like that I can get more than one thing from it, though. Um, that's the one restriction that the Steel Forge has. Yeah, see, now it balanced out to where it is gaining more than it's using, so I'm actually going to end up left over with some even though we're making this much this much iron. The other thing is time. This is taking much longer because it's at, what, like 3,000 iron or something like that? Whereas with the steel mill, I would have already had my 1,000 plates um, by now. So the, yeah, between time and power, and uh, like I said, th this part is probably more of a, of a hurdle or a requirement than I that I'm giving it credit for because I already kind of had materials and stuff and it was easy to get more materials through that um, where this probably would have taken me a lot, a lot longer to actually get. That would be my assessment of it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, it's, it's going pretty good. We're at 4.5. Okay. So yeah, that, that's not going too bad. I do think that's slower than this, so it probably actually, between costing a lot more power, well, <laughs> it costs me a lot more material to make it not cost a lot more power. Um, gosh, 25, I, what was it, 2,500% though? I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. 
That's kind of ridiculous. What's the assembler at? 500%, and that's with... Actually, that's with all four. So that's an eight. Ooh, now that's cool. I didn't even think about that. That's pretty cool. We have a little... We have a little laser. That's pretty sweet. I wonder what happens if I step through this. Oh, nothing. I was I was hoping it would it would like, you know, <laughs> you don't want to step into the laser. Now, I'm pretty sure this doesn't actually do any terrain manipulation. I think it just like generates gravel, but that would also be kind of cool if to find out it actually was like hollowing out lower beneath the planet or something. That would be a neat little uh, caveat as well. Um, all right. So yeah, I, like I said, I'm taking into account the whole behind the scenes situation. Oh, 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 no oh, crap. Okay. Hold on. It's gaining. Um, I say crap, but it probably isn't drawing a whole lot of power at this point. Wow. So the assembler is 112. Uh, the ref refinery is 112. Um, the rotors don't actually tell me. Oh, that's rotors. I need grinders. Grinders for the steel forge. Oh, they don't actually tell me how much power they use. Hmm. That's odd. And then this is 20. 20 kilowatts. So I have completely made this way more plausible with that many power efficiency. Like I said, it did take a lot of material though, so that's probably okay. Um... Whew. So yeah, we probably don't need this at that point. At this point, like if we're gonna stick with the drill, we probably don't need the steel forge at this point because this can get us iron. It's a little bit more practical in that it takes a little longer and it's you know going through gravel and it's more. I, I think that makes a bit more sense because it is a mod and it's designed to do something. This is kind of just using a glitch. And actually, I'm glad we found an alternative too, because eventually, I'm I'm like 80% sure eventually Keen's gonna patch that, because I can't see them just letting that go for like ever. I mean, it's not entirely game breaking, but I really would have a hard time seeing them just not dealing with that at all. That <laughs> that just doesn't seem like something they would do. Um Though, I don't know. They might not worry about it. it, it like I said, it's not like plut uh, it's not like platinum. I almost said plutonium. It's not like platinum or something that really... Okay, now I can make tons of thrusters and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, uh, it for me, it's really just because large grids require a ton of resources. And that would take a lot of time away from building just to be going and gathering resources. And that's not really fun to watch. Um... Actually, it's not even really that fun to play, but it feels more genuine when you're just playing by yourself and nobody's like, this is boring. Um, that said, I don't know about my last couple episodes without... I mean, we didn't really make a ton of progress other than getting this working. Um, but, eh, you know, like I said, extenuating circumstances and stuff like that, I'm trying to squeeze in where I can. That, and I've kind of been using the Space Engineers episodes to give updates for things recently, which is kind of odd and admittedly unintentional um but that and i typically record on a different day but i was trying to clear one of my days because if all goes according to plan um kate and red pearl and i are supposed to be getting together and trying can't say that we'll actually get it done but we're trying to finish up the last of the audio dialogue for the next season of dog squad um and once the audio is done, then it's kind of on me because I everything else is stuff that I do. It's all the filming and editing and animating and blah, 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 blah. Um, so it's not really waiting on anybody else to get back to me and coordinate and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that will expedite the production because uh, I don't have to actually coordinate schedules with anybody. But with my current situation... <laughs> I don't know. That could prolong it. I'm not sure. We'll just have to see, and I'm gonna have to cross my fingers and hope everything works out. But uh, it is it is happening though. We are doing it. We are recording it. We are working on it. Um, it's just been slow, but it has picked back up uh, since we decided to switch back over to machinimating um, instead of doing the 3D for this season. That that has expedited it to where it's now like we're not like okay we can work on this later. It's like no, let's get this done because we need to get working on it. So. 
Um, that's the other curveball that threw off my schedule on top of my already screwy current schedule. So anyways, just to kind of give you guys a, a tidbit and a, you know, kind of a FYI of what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, but I think that's going to do it. We're out of time, I think, for today. So we got the drill platform working. If we want to keep this and we feel like it's balanced and we don't think it's too off the deep end in the, in the cheaty department, I say we stick with it. Uh, I'll probably strip down the steel forge at that point. Uh, so next episode... Hmm. Next episode we'll probably be working on... I'm imagining trying to move some of this down underground. Maybe. Or at least... Maybe not moving, but at least hollowing. We'll probably be hollowing a little bit underneath. Maybe. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What should be our next step with this overall base project thingy ma bobber um so let me know in the comments in the meantime we're gonna wrap things up here i hope y'all enjoyed if you did leave a like and i will see you all next time peace